Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here. From what we have here, we can write x tends x tends x as x keep and minus also x tends x as s square now equals to 100 on this side. The next step, we take 100 to the left hand side and we have x keep minus x square minus 100 then equals to zero from here then also here we can write 100 as 125 minus 25 that is here we have x cube minus x square and minus into brackets 125 minus 25 close brackets then equals to zero here then from here, minus open this bracket, and this becomes x cube minus x square minus 125, then plus 25 equals to 0 from here, which implies here we can write 125 as 5 times 5 times 5, which is 5 cube, and also 25 as 5 times 5 which is 5 squared and what we have becomes x cube minus x squared then minus 5 cube plus 5 squared now equals to 0 here the next step here we can bring the cube together and we have x cube minus 5 cube also, the squares together minus x square and plus 5 squared now equals to 0 from here. Then, here when we group this, we have x cube minus 5 cube. We group this together, then minus is common here. We factor it out and we have minus into bracket x square minus 5 square plus brackets, then equals to 0 here. Then for the first bracket here, this follows on we have a cube minus b cube, and this is same thing as a minus b into brackets and open bracket a square plus a b plus b square. And this second bracket follows on we have a square minus b square, which is also same thing as a minus b into brackets and open brackets a plus b then when we apply this here it implies the first bracket here will become x minus 5 into brackets then open bracket x square plus 5x plus 5 square plus brackets then also here we have minus into brackets x minus 5 close bracket also open bracket x plus 5 close brackets which is now equals to 0 here that is here we have x minus 5 here common we factor it out and this becomes x minus 5 into bracket then open bracket here we are left with x square plus 5x plus 5 square which is 25 then minus here yeah, we have into bracket x plus 5 which is close bracket now equals to 0 here then this minus here open this bracket and we have x minus 5 into bracket then here yeah, open bracket x square plus 5x plus 25 then this become minus x minus 5 close brackets then equals to 0 here then also we can bring this together and we have x minus 5 into brackets then open bracket x square 5x minus x becomes plus 4x then 25 minus 5 becomes plus 20 close brackets equals to zero here that is here we have two possible cases the first one x 
minus y equals to 0. Or we have x squared plus 4x plus 20 equals to 0 here. In solving from the first case here, this becomes x equals to 5, which is a real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to 4, and c equals to 20. Then, we apply the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Then, here, this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 20 then over 2 times 1. That is, we have x now equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square plus 16. Then minus 4 times 1 times 20, we have 80. Then all over 2 here. That is, here, this is x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 80 equals minus 64. Then over 2. That is, this is same thing as x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 64 times minus 1 all over 2. That is, we can write this from when we have root a times b, which is the same thing as root a times root b. That is, here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 times root minus 1, then over 2. That is, we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64, that's 8, and root minus 1 is i over 2. That is, here 2 is common, and we have x equals to 2 into bracket. Here we have minus 2, then plus or minus 4i, then over 2 here. And 2 here cancel each other. That is, this becomes x equals to minus 2 plus or minus 4i. So here we have two complex solutions as well. At this we have three solutions together. We have one real solution here and two complex solutions here. When we write it out, we can say the x1 equals to 5 and x2 equals to minus 2 plus 4i. Then x3 equals to minus 2 minus 4i. That is, we have three solutions here, one real and two complex. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class. Then. Bye for now.